Hello and welcome to Clipping In. It's Monday the 11th of November and today I'm heading out for an absolute classic West Yorkshire Pennine climb, Home Moss, and hoping to log a couple of personal firsts. <laughs> after nine or ten days of permagloom, drizzle and murkiness, the anticyclonic weather pattern has finally decided to give us a break and the sun's out. I'm not sure how long it'll last but it is most welcome and so to take advantage of hopefully some good views I'm heading out to the big country, out to home moss just over a mile into my ride. You can see Castle Hill at Armanbury and on the skyline, maybe not on the camera, but there's home moss and the infamous mast. There we are. There's the big aerial. Any ride that includes home moss is a thrill just because of the scale of it and I've had something of a fascination with home moss oh since I was a little kid long before my cycling times and uh, yeah which one of the first things that I wanted to climb on a bike when I started cycling all those years ago but today despite my long storied history there's a couple of debuts coming up today, all being well. The first, I've never climbed it on a bike this late in the year, it being 11th of November. Normally by now you can expect frost, snow, strong, strong winds, or any combination. But this anticyclonic gloom is at least kept things mild, reasonably dry. It was 7 Celsius when I left home this morning at about 9. So I would imagine subtract 1 degree every 300 feet. Even then it should have been maybe 2 or 3 up there. And by the time I'm there it'll be a little bit warmer. But watch the second debut. Ha -ha. This faithful steed the Geos Compact Pro 1998 has never been up on Moss before. I can't believe it. I was looking back uh, through my old training diaries and uh, nope. So it's a double debut. You don't get many of those on YouTube. So after that uh, sharp, sharp pull from Homebridge, still dragging up but you get a teeny weeny breather as you go up towards home village those buildings that you can see there that's home village I think I've made a mistake today not going hands free but uh, I'll see what see what I can do to stitch an ascent together with this camera good view of the zigzags working their way up and then hidden from view as that straight rake that takes you almost directly up to the aerial. Superb. <laughs> Looking back down towards the home valley and Huddersfield. I've got about quarter of a mile to the top. 
No, no, you're Steve, all right. It's, it's, a, it's a video. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you're all right. Do you want to say hello? <laughs> you're a YouTube star now. <laughs> Ta-ra. So here we are, here's the top, home moss. I, uh, I was going to interview the faithful Geos to see, see what its thoughts and emotions are at this moment. <laughs> and there's a view for you. Looking down into the home valley, I'm not sure how much I captured uh, during the climb. I was pretty much glued to the levers there. We've got Castle Hill pretty clear there. There's a kind of a slight hazy backdrop making it stand out. I'm panning in that direction my old friend Emily Moore Emily Moore Mast who we will be saying hello to later on what a place not as impressive in that direction but the descent is now the only problem is um, with this handheld job I won't be filming on the descent so what I'll do I'll put a link up there now to uh, an earlier video that I did in the summer when I got that new Cannondale Super 6 Evo and I had a, had the chest camera on up and down so that should be worth a look it was a nice descent when I had a bit of company from a friendly motorbiker aye aye nice weather, isn't it? not bad is it? Traffic on the woodhead there. Thankfully, my stint on the woodhead is over, and I'm heading towards Dunford Bridge, which is roughly that little gathering of buildings beneath the uh, the wind turbines. What a beautiful day! You know, when there hadn't been certainly my uh, part of the West Riding there hasn't been any sun for about nine or ten days what a mood lifter I mean it's just being able to actually see this beautiful countryside again just pulling away from Windscar Reservoir and then when I crest this hill I'm not far from Haid Edge but I'll be turning sharp right passing that farm towards Victoria Crossroads hopefully there you'll be able to see the mast, home moss I've done a complete circuit of that I've just passed through Victoria Crossroads and I'm heading on these back lanes towards Upper Cumberworth but just there to my left if you remember oh about two months ago on a foul rainy misty day I rode the Jackson Bridge hill climb route and that came out on that side And there, that mast that just looks so tiny from home moss. We're getting closer to it now. What a magnificent structure. Riding on uh, from Grinchmore roundabout now towards the mining museum. During the summer, I did a little experiment on home moss. Nice warm day, which narrows it down, doesn't it? Uh, nice warm day. I was on my Cannondale Super 6 and I rode from Home Firth to the top without exceeding 80% heart rate so what people call zone 2 I never went, about, never went out of that it took uh, in a couple of places I think it was a 34 sprocket to keep the heart rate down but I did it 
feel a bit slow, a bit artificial, but it should be repeatable. Now, I couldn't do that today because this bike has only got a 28 sprocket <laughs> only. <laughs> My 90 self is shaking his head. Um, but still, today felt I had headroom, not necessarily headroom for commentating, but I would guess I'll have a look at the heart rates when I get back. Maybe touching 85 to 90% on the steepest parts. But doable, all the same, and very, very enjoyable. Well, what a superb late autumn ride that's been. Imagine if we had weather like this all the time. <laughs> No, <laughs> I'd never get anything else done. Also a massive five-star review for the uh, Geos Compact Pro steel frame, steel fork. There is magic in there. It's especially eye-opening after having ridden a modern bike in the Super 6 Evo and then the uh, titanium frame carbon forks following on with this I've done around uh, 600 miles now on this winterized Geos amazing I think there's a future video focused on the Geos pair at some point anyway I'm going to sign off this is a headwind I've got about a mile and a half two miles to go so that's all for this edition of clipping in see you very soon back out on the Yorkshire roads for another one bye bye